Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro here. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, this is a new acquisition, a little neck knife from uh, Ryan at New York Knife Maker, and I wanted to do a quick little discussion about it and an update on this one here. So here we go. This is the first knife that I got from Ryan. You see that nice mirror polish. There's my hand and iPhone and face and all that. And um, chisel grind, extremely sharp blade. Um, I send I send him text messages and pictures quite often of what I'm doing with this knife, and uh, he's a really great guy. And if you think that, you know, oh, he must be buddies or something. Nope, he treats everybody that way. I really don't know him from Adam, and um, he instantly, you know, we chit chatted, kind of hit it off, and um, I think he's he's kind of like that with everybody. I don't believe I'm special whatsoever. I just think that he genuinely likes making knives. And if you're not following his channel, I believe he is a New York knife maker um, on YouTube, like spelled out, and then. Um, on Instagram, I think he's got the same deal, but just a really great guy. And this knife here is working pretty good. I did have a little bit of a hot spot that I talked to him about, and we took care of on this one here, but um, smoothed it out, and so far, no problems whatsoever. I love the looks of this thing, and um, it's just a nice pocket EDC fixed blade. And um, I'm trying this out. It's not really something that I'm able to do often. Like, this is way, I told him I wanted one for work, but this is way still too menacing for work, so um, that's just not going to work out. But, um, it's just, it's a nice little fixed blade. And um, on the weekends, you want to toss in a cargo pocket or something like that. Um, it's really cool. I think here, lately, it's been sitting in a knife case just because of that polish and the cool handle material. And this one here is a neck knife that he started offering. Um, we were talking on the phone one day, and I told him that I needed something, you know, small, small little neck knife. I wanted to do one for my brother-in-law as a gift. And um, He's like, well, let me look and see what we can't do. So we came up with, he came up with this design. I didn't do anything. Um, I told him I wanted the edges rounded a little bit so it would just be nice and smooth. And um, I still wanted that, you know, close to mirror polish edge, as close as you can humanly get. Um, and this one being a neck knife and more of a utility knife, I've used the tar out of it, so I hate that my brother-in-law is getting a used knife at this point. But um, definitely a sweet knife. So... Um, I'm going to be sending it to its new home today, but I wanted to do a video before I got rid of it. And, uh, and not necessarily got rid of, but before I gifted it away. And I um, tossed in these cool little bead that matches the other cool little bead. And um, the same little kryptonite material. Um, this is a fairly, um, this is a good working knife. This thing, I mean, you can, you shred boxes if you've got anything like that. This would be, me personally, and that's what this one I do kitchen work with it, but um, this one here was pretty much dedicated nothing but ripping boxes. And um, I have quite a few knives that I love using, a lot of my traditional knives and stuff like that. So I rotate them in, but this thing just makes very short work of all of it. So if you're actually, you know, just cutting up your cardboard boxes to jam them in your um, recycling bin and you just need something to rip through these boxes really quick, this sucker will do it. Um, I do recommend the chisel grind for that because it is a little bit more, it's just, a little sharper and um, kind of takes care of it a little better but um, this V grind is pretty good too so either way this one works good just for that little simple stuff uh, just utility work you know the rounded blade wouldn't make it very good for you know skinning or anything like that but that's not what I would be using either one of these knives for I have you know other knives for the um, for the skinning type purpose or for the um, utility work with the different blade shapes and stuff like that so um, this Warncliffe blade style is really just primarily me, just a working knife. So um, as far as, you know, just utility task, if you're a carpenter or, you know, construction worker or anything like that, just need a basic knife, this is good to look at. Um, I think that's really about it. I really just wanted to show that he does offer a couple. You can see the uh, butt-to-butt picture there. And you can see it's a little bit smaller. And he offers a couple of different models. Um, the ones with the holes in it are really sweet. So I'm going to have to be, uh, I'll have to get another one from him here too, um, sometime soon. But anyways, that's about it. Just wanted to do a quick little video just showing off the, uh, the neck knife and um, some Orion skills. Got a sweet swedge on top. This thing looks nice. I mean, he's getting better and better and better. Cool hole pattern. Just nice metal handle. Nothing, you know, ideal. I mean, nothing um, too crazy. Nothing weird. This would be a good, in my opinion, this would be a good little bug out knife. If you just needed just a small fixed blade to stick in a bug out bag, it wouldn't take up very much room at all. The uh, Kydex sheath he gave me with it, um, very versatile. Many strapping options and 
uh, neck knife options and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's originally what this one was designed to be, was a neck knife, and I never, I've never been able to really use it good night. Well, that's not working. Hold on. There we go. Sorry. There we are. I was going to try to hold it in my neck, and I just I figured you'd see my goatee and up my nose and all that, so I tried to spare you that. But a nice little Kydex sheath. This doesn't have a really tight, I mean, it has tight retention, but it doesn't have a, a really tight, um, like, indent or um, something to clip into. And I think that works a little better when you have a neck knife, because if you have that, and if you've ever worn a neck knife that has a really, like the SE Azula, that has a really hard click, when you jerk the, um, the knife down from your neck, then this deal will pop up and hit you in the face and all that other crap. So I think he really did a good job in execution on this. And it's still nice and flat. I mean, you talk about very little room in a pack for this knife here. And that's good little, you know, food prep or just, you know, last ditch kind of I need a backup knife. I think $100, $110. So that's pretty sweet. 100 bucks for the knife and then I think, you know, 10 bucks for shipping kind of deal or something. Whatever. I don't really remember. I just know it was right around 100 and something. So... Anyways, nice knife. You guys check him out. Um, he's got a great attitude, which you guys know definitely means the world to uh, me as a knife buyer. Um, I love knife makers that have good attitudes. I get really annoyed when I talk to a custom maker and they treat you like crap or they act like, you know, they're holier than thou. No, screw you. You make good knives. <laughs> You're not a freaking walking on water god or anything like that. So um, I just think it's a little silly that sometimes these guys get these big heads and I don't do that. I really don't. Um, I've canceled three orders off of uh, just cocky makers and all that crap, and I'll do it again and again and again. If you're not decent, don't have good customer service, I don't have any use for you. So other than that, Ryan, I can definitely vouch for him and his attitude. Great guy and um, great products. So thank you, Ryan, for uh, making my brother-in-law this cool gift, and uh, he will be getting it today. I had to Break it in a little bit first, of course, you understand. And I think that's just life is what it is, ain't it? All right, y'all be good. Ryan, have a good one, dude.